Hey, thanks for the assist out there. And by the way, now that I've officially got the part again, it's not too late for me to pull some strings and get you a roll. I think I'm cool with sitting this one out. All right. Well, the door's open if I'm back for rank and file five. Although I heard R-Truth pitch the producers on making it an office drama with him as a star, and it's under strong consideration, so we'll see. Oh, by the way, I left tickets for my real parents again. No luck, though. Still doing that, huh? Yep. And who knows? Maybe if they're not WWE fans, then they'll see me in the movie. Can't hurt. Yeah, I guess. Hey, before you go out for your match, you mind signing my script? <laughs> sure. May you always have a happy Thanksgiving. See? It is catching on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Busy night for you, huh? I mean, if I were defending my title against an opponent like me, I might be just a little more focused on my match. Don't worry. I'm more than capable of helping a friend out and beating you in the same night. Well, while you've been off auditioning for movies and getting in fights with your old high school bully, I've been training for our match. You see, it's become a bit personal for me. You might even say I feel disrespected by your attitude. It's like everything's easy for you, huh? You show up in WWE and just waltz your way to the top? Well, that makes me angry. Didn't you do the exact same thing? <laughs> not even close. You're right. It's not the same. Because I didn't have a famous dad to help me get here. I've earned everything I have. There it is again. Disrespect. And speaking of that, Beating me is not even on your list, as far as I can tell. I only put my goals on there, not things I expect to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, after tonight, you'll have a new goal to put on your list. Take back the Raw Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair. Hello everybody, my name is Tubusplat and welcome back to WWE 2K20, my career mode, and last time we did the, uh, I f now I think about it, obligatory WWE Studios chapter, <laughs> um, where Cooper or Trey gets the contract to be in rank and file four, which actually kind of got me wondering, um, like, if there is actually any WWE film, studio films that are actually any good, and I mean, like, original productions, like, um, the one with John Cena, then The Miz took over. Oh, The Marine. I, just, like, I want to see if those are actually any good, because I've seen... Obviously, I've seen Fighting With My Family, but I really wouldn't count that as a... WWE Studios film, I would count that as 21, or Dwayne The Rock's uh, movie studio, which I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Something Bucks, I think. Um, I'm not going to count that. It's basically just because they needed WWE property to do it. Um, but I did see Legendary on Netflix a long time ago and it might still be on there. I'm not 100% sure. That was that was pretty decent, but like I haven't seen uh see no evil or the chap is it the chaperone with Triple H? And where he's like a school bus chaperone, something like that. Also, <laughs> the finish for this match is absolutely amazing. I'm just going to say that and I'm really glad that it happened this way. So I'll just leave it at that. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next match. Can you believe they're all the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow, 
Didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier in your career. First, it was the movie. Then, you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. Remember this? Are you still a little bit jealous? No. Are you sure? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> really? Because that's not how I remember it. Check it out! My first action figure! Pretty cool, right? Awesome. They really nailed the detail in your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well, you know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Literally no one says that. Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get it. This was more your thing, but it's just an action figure. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when I won a title in WWE before you did. It's like that, but ten times worse. Comparing titles to action figures might be a little extreme. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've had like 30 now, so it's kind of boring at this point. Where's yours? I think he didn't get one. <laughs> well, that's awkward. I think even, like, Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's lucky even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Sorry, we got sidetracked with a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. Happy Rusev Day! Do you think he heard what we said? Who cares? He's a loser. <laughs> I heard he freaking jerks, and if I had an action figure of my own, I would team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure stupid plastic butts. Or even better, how about we take them down in real life? Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess we could do that. I love the finish of that match from SummerSlam. I, I feel like I couldn't have gotten that any better. I felt so extremely lucky to get <laughs> to get Charlotte there, but anyway. So now we move on, and so I really had to hold my breath and cross my fingers, because the first time I played this, that whole scene with Rusev and Lana and the action figures, the first time I played that they were not holding action figures. I don't think Red was either. So it's like, so they're just like handing off invisible boxes to each other, and it's like, uh, what? <laughs> I mean, we already had the Money in the Bank botch because of 2K. Um, so I was really hoping that that wasn't going to happen with that cutscene. Just because that was the only thing, that's one of the two things that sticks out to me from my first playthrough. Um, there's another part from my first playthrough that sticks out. I think it happens in the next chapter. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, I'll leave it at that, but just... <sighs> I seem like this match went on a lot longer than it needed to, but at the same time, like, I'd be controlling Red, and then Rusev would still be in the ring, like, right now. But I managed to still do finish Lana, and that was it, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just, 2K20 is a thing that is a thing.
In all seriousness, even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work, because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a bow, Mickey, you deserve it. You fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it, it hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting-edge product, which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So I'm sorry, Mickey, but based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement, or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from. But like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No! You can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live, as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right. Good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. Oh, what do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win Women's Tag Team Championships with Mickey James. Welcome everyone to the most iconic talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your hosts, The Iconics. We just said Iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. Which brings us to my favorite segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for Why Australia, Australia is better. better. This is the part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects of Australian culture and explain why Australia is better. Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket. Which has nothing to do with filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. To further educate you on this superior sport, let's go over the laws of cricket, shall we? There are only 42 of them. Shouldn't take long. Law one, a cricket team consists of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law, one of my favorites. Now, law two. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch the segment we did on Manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now. <laughs> what are you calling yourselves? 
red and grey. <laughs> because Mickey's so old, get it? Hilarious, she really is a fossil. You've never even teamed before. So what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, I beat you in my very first match. And I've only gotten better since then. Way better. Oh, okay. So you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing. That a decade later, when that pathetic opponent rears her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three, never interrupt the Iconics. We get this really short match, even though this clip is still two minutes by the time I sped it up. Um, I like what they did with Mickey James here in this story. Um, that there's this huge ultimatum with her. Uh, with her tent with her run that she has to keep winning to stay employed otherwise she's retired so again another prime example of a storyline that happens in the games but doesn't get translated to TV I mean not to, not to give credit to 2k20 there's a few things I give this game credit for but a little bit of storyline here and there is definitely one of them. But all right, I'll see you guys in the next match. lack of experience together I'd say we make a pretty good team I agree I mean you know what I just want to say thank you for doing this I could be sitting at home right now but instead we have a chance to win the tag team championships and even if my career does end this is a heck of a way to go out before you celebrate too much we just found out your tag title match will be taking place on our home turf that's right in our great country in front of our fans at Super Showdown. It doesn't matter. We'll beat you anywhere. Oh, you should also know it's going to be an Australian rules tag match, which are the most iconic rules. What does that even mean? It means it'll be no disqualification, tornado tag. Or Willy Willy tag, as we say down under. Hey, Mickey, you should pack an extra week of clothes. You know, 
so you can go on holiday in Australia after we end your career? We'll call our grandparents and see if they know of any good senior resorts. <laughs> I love how immediately right out of the gate the ref gets taken out. I think I keep having it happen in universe mode too, where it's always it seems like it's always a tag match that for some reason the ref is always targeted by somebody right out of the gate. Like team member A will be facing like A one will face A or B one and so on, so like B and then A2 will target the ref as opposed to B2 kind of thing. I don't... Oh, I paused that on accident because I was watching a YouTube video and I realized I forgot I was recording. <laughs> so there's an operator error right there. You yeah, ain't cutscenes. I'm really not talking the cutscenes, but I just feel like doing it for this and the last video. Also currently, well, more recently, again, recording this commentary on June 2nd, um, slightly more recently, they were teasing the Iconics were going to break up, and I really hope they don't, because they're great. <laughs> what are they, I mean, what would they do? I mean, Billy slapped Peyton, so it's like, I don't know where they could go with keeping... Billy heel and turning Pey Peyton face. Like, I don't get it. And again, it's just... That's the thing with the women's tag team division is that it just, it doesn't exist. Yeah, you have Bliss and Cross who are the tag team champions. That's about it. Fire and Desire are all done. They tease the Iconics are going to split. It's just, I, I don't get... I mean, I don't hate the tag team championships or the idea of women's tag titles, but I don't know. Just if WWE doesn't continue to support the division, it's basically useless because they just keep splitting up tag teams. Like, maybe that's why the first rendition of the tag team titles never flourished. But I could be wrong. Well, no, yeah, because everything went. You gotta be a seven foot muscular man, basically. That was the land of the giants, was WWF, so. Alright, see you guys in the next one. And that's how Mickey James went from being a hero and mentor of mine to more than that. She was now my tag team partner and more importantly, my friend. Oh, that's nice. But aren't you skipping over a pretty important part? How about we move on? Don't you want to talk about when you were on the cover of WWE 2K25? I do. But hang on a second. Earlier you put me on blast for having some trivial goals. So now it's my turn to call you out for a time when you let the list steer you down a questionable path. This is a night to remember our careers, good and bad. Fine. If you want to talk about it so much, then you tell the story. Okay.
After they became tag team champions, it turned everything around for Mickey. She even ended up earning a SmackDown Live Women's Championship opportunity against Kyrie Sane. Mickey went on to defeat Kyrie Sane, giving her two championships and continuing her incredible winning streak to avoid retirement. I feel like you've been a little off lately. You're moody, quick to lash out, overly judgmental about my decisions. It all sounds like typical me. Maybe those weren't the best examples, but I've known you long enough to realize when something's bothering you. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of getting impatient. I mean, teaming with Mickey has been fun, but I never thought it would last this long, and I definitely didn't see her singles title run happening. Now I'm basically waiting for someone to beat her so I can go after the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I've been dying to cross that off. Some might say you're a bit too focused on the list. Who's some? Are you some? Look, if you want my advice, I see two ways for you to get what you want. But the first option wouldn't be very honorable. What do you mean? If you and Mickey were to somehow lose your tag titles, then Mickey would be forced to retire and vacate her women's title, leaving you free to pursue it. Option number two, the more straight up way of doing things, would be for you to tell Mickey exactly how you feel and challenge her to a match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, potentially crossing that off the list. But if you beat her, you'd also lose the tag titles and worse, end the career of your idol slash friend. I don't really love either option. This business forces you to make some tough decisions. But at least you're not choosing between competing in a tag title match or saving your mangled ear like Mick Foley once had to do. No, but if losing my ear was option three, I'd think I'd take it. The alternative is just waiting around for something to happen, and who knows how long that could take. You're right. I guess I should... Hey, Mickey. I need to talk to you about something. It's kind of personal, sorry. We'll catch up later. What's going on? Is everything okay? Yeah, well, not really. It's just lately... Ugh, I'll just come out and say it. I want your title, and I know what that means for you and for us, but I don't think I can sit back any longer. You know what? I was waiting for this moment. You were? Look, I, I know who you are, what you're made of, what got you here. You're driven to be the very best, and I knew that being tag team champions would only satisfy you for so long. So you don't hate me? No, I get it. I actually respect you for your honesty. I can think of a couple other ways this could have gone down. But if I beat you, it's all over. If it's going to come to an end, and it will, sooner rather than later, I want you to be the one that does it. Besides, none of this would have even happened if it wasn't for you. But with all of that said, I've come too far to just roll over. If you face me for my title, you better be ready for a fight. <laughs> you know me. I wouldn't want it any other way. And here's going to be the last match of the chapter. I stuck with the same decision this time around that I did with my first playthrough. I was gonna... I wanted to commit and do something different, but... I don't know. I didn't want to leave a bad taste in my mouth for the play for the last play, and I don't know why it matters so much, but to me it does. So I think I mentioned it maybe in earlier videos. It's worth noting that the AI is super easy in 2K20. I went back and played 19 here and there, and the AI just kicks my butt like you wouldn't believe. Like <laughs> they literally reverse everything, and then just I don't know. The AI is so much better in 19, but I digress. Well, no, yeah, I've talked about it. Hell, I've talked about it in the 2K19 my career that I've had to restart matches X number of times because <laughs> just because it's so hard. So, otherwise, that's going to wrap it up for me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and stay in tune with the rest of this Let's Play as well as any other future content. 
Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. I am constantly uploading uh, replay replays of my interactive universe. So if you want to check that out, make sure to go over my Twitch so you get live notifications. Again, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. I'm sorry. You deserve this moment.